Hey, hey, welcome guys back to the channel. Maverick here today with another episode of Chainsaw Man. So, last episode, we had some pretty encouraging morale boost happening to Denji, right? Uh, he's all fired up and back out on the field again, and he is ready to kick some ass, right? And we also get to see some new characters, the, the rest of the squad, if you will. Uh, maybe not the core, core characters, but uh, probably quite important nonetheless, considering that they all appear in the opening, right? Uh, and so I'll be looking forward to learning more about them as well as their abilities in and characters in this episode as well. Speaking of which, we left the episode, we left last episode on sort of a cliffhanger. You know, another devil was here apparently being strengthened by fragments of the gun as well, apparently um, with a bullet or something like that. Uh, so what exact kind of devil is it, right? And, you know, it seems that kind of sort of relates to optical illusions and, and that kind of thing or or maybe it's a labyrinth or something like that i don't know i mean i threw out some guesses here let's just find out together right in the episode all right let's begin in three two one play I mean, it could be, again, it could be something spatial related, space related. The ending. <laughs> peace, peace. Why is she the? Uh, is she supposed to be like some sort of? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. So open it, and you end up right where you began, right? Mirror? A mirror devil? Interesting. Eight could also seem like infinity, right? But I highly doubt that a devil would have the concept like infinity. Like, that sounds a little bit way too OP. Hmm. I mean, so far we've never really had devils that are concepts, though, right? We've only had devils that are a sort of like, um... You know, embodiment of a particular object or thing. So, you know, right, a dog, a chainsaw, a gun, a bat, a tomato, right? We haven't seen devils based on concepts. I'm not saying that there can't be, I'm just saying that we haven't seen it so far. So, really hard to say, right? So, you know, if you were to ask me, I think. Now that I think about it, probably the closest thing to, to create, like, that sort of, uh, you know, like, sort of, like, infinity sort of, uh, uh, concept, maybe mirror, right? Mirror seems to be the closest thing to that. That's what I thought of when I, when I saw the window, right? You know how, like, when there's two mirrors and it, it seems that it goes on to infinity? So, I think, right now, my leading guess is Mirror Devil. Oh, well, definitely. If if it is a mirror, it definitely isn't. Wouldn't be the the uh, idea that I would have thought it would, you know, manifest itself in this sort of concept. Have you guys tried like breaking through the floor? Oh. Mm-hmm.
Is time actually passing here? I mean, you can hear the tick of the clock, but is time actually passing down? <laughs> really? For this kind of reason? <laughs> See, I feel like in this kind of situation, definitely time doesn't pass. So if that's the case though, then I think that also rules out a mirror devil. He's right, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Is he actually going to punch him or something? So what could it be? You freeze time, you freeze space. It's like the entire thing is sort of like... It's like this entire space... It's like this entire space is completely removed from the real world, right? You do you, power. <laughs> hmm. What is this? Uh, so <laughs> Yeah, but that wouldn't explain why it leads nowhere to. And even though there's electricity and power and water, but stuff still gets consumed. Oh, flashback. True, it is great for socializing.
Really? I guess that's... Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's so petty, but at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's just great for this current squad, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody has a loose screw. about that. Share it. What is this? What is this devil, though? Why does this? Why does this guy know about Denji? I mean that's probably uh that's probably you could you should have just like knocked her out. Oh can't appear. Hmm. What is this thing? So is the entire hotel a devil?
Yep. Yep. I mean, technically, they didn't. He didn't say that he needs Denji dead, right? He just says hand him over. <laughs> um. Oh, it's not coming either. He still has some more other things up this thing? Okay. Probably all eaten by power. <laughs> of course. This girl will definitely become a yonder, right? <laughs> won't she? <laughs> mm, it reacted to that? Hmm. Oh, so is it... Well, no, actually, they already mentioned that devils work on... on emotions. Eternity devil? Hey, so the eight, like I said, like the eight really did have something in there. Huh, so it's not infinity, but it's eternity. <laughs> right and I would be pleased. <laughs> Eternity. So it seems that concepts can become can become devils then.
Like, girl, why is your weapon a uh, cutting knife? I don't. Why is eternity afraid of chainsaws? So in the end, just go with brute strength? <laughs> Oh, oh, I, um, wait, this is the same as the last one, right? No, well, no, actually, <laughs> I actually can't quite remember, but I mean, let's just go through it anyways. No, 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 this is a new one. Once again, this sounds like someone I know. This sounds like an artist I know. And yet, once again, it's someone that I don't know. <laughs> Okay, nice, nice. Well, that was interesting. I will see you guys after this. Well, all right, that was quite the interesting episode in a lot of ways. Um, some a, a few concepts that I want to go over and and whatnot. But uh, you know, I think this is also a uh, rather market character development as well. You know, we got some character backstory in regards to Hayakawa and in, in regards to Himeno, and um, some character development here as well. Now, I certainly wasn't expecting 
uh, Denji's and Haya, Hayakawa's relationship to be this close, or I guess more so on on Hayakawa's side, to to you know so readily lay his body on the line, you know, this easily, this early on. Like, don't get me wrong, even from the very beginning, I thought that he was a pretty soft-hearted kind of guy. I mean, you kind of have to be, right? He is one of the main characters and all that. But you know, even from the very beginning, whilst he was trying to treat uh, Denji rather rudely and badly, or were you know, I think kind of justified, honestly. Uh, even amongst all that, I felt that he was mostly, even from the little details and whatnot, you could kind of see that he's a soft-hearted guy and um, he, he's really one who, who, who looks out for you, right? And we can clearly see some of that here as well, and not only in how he treats Denji, but also in how he treats Himeno as well and um, the others. But, uh, you know, it, it's it's great character development and, and all that. Uh, it just kind of came... A little bit too early right and then we also get some interesting stuff right so beyond that fox devil that he's able to use apparently he also has a sword devil question mark uh, something of that sort i mean i'm guessing it's also some kind of contract otherwise he wouldn't need to shave ears off his life by using that that particular sword right and it's kind of like an ultimate ability if you will only to be used against the gun devil or something of that sort um so so we we got that and uh i'm sure that for people who are watching this for the first time probably their uh their sort of like um their perception of hayakawa probably rose quite a few levels be based on this episode and and all that right but i mean to me it's it's just kind of unexpected but expected at the same time now as for the rest of the team you know i'll reserve judgment right i mean it's quite clear that this squad was put together as a sort of dysfunctional team i mean they literally say it themselves right? they have to be a little bit loose in the head having some loose screws um you know it's not courage or bravery or or uh you know or or any of those other factors like how strong you are and whatnot that makes a good makes a good devil hunter but actually having some loose screws and i think we can safely say that this is one dysfunctional squad right <laughs> i I'd immediately draw parallels to something like suicide squad or whatnot where you know they're all you know quite strong in their own ways but they have a lot a lot of issues something of that nature uh so i'm not really going to talk too much about you know, that part and and whatnot again well i'm sure that there's going to be other places or other scenarios where they can shine or, or whatnot but you can really see that this this squad really kind of falls apart without aki here right and he's kind of like the the centerpiece here um of, of it all and you know i guess that's what the captain has got to do right so uh beyond that i mean obviously we have the other like sort of you know uh flirtations if you will or or you know power being power and denji being denji and all that um it, but beyond all that i think one thing that I keep going back to is what the hell exactly is this demon, right? So it apparently it called itself the Eternity, the uh, the Eternity Devil, right? And on the on the credits, that's what it's called as well, Eternity. I I don't know, like my my to me a concept such an abstract concept as Eternity should be like much much stronger, like a power level of something that that's an abstract concept. Uh, that's an abstract concept because it is so abstract the 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 limit power limit for it is essentially infinity maybe i'm looking at this from too literal or a uh, perspective here but like you know even more so than any kind of like gun or or you know chainsaw or uh, bat or, or you know an atomic bomb for example and turning to me feels like much more powerful than than all of those combined together so and, and not to mention like is this really something like i don't know man it, it just are, are are devils able to no oh, okay i mean devils obviously can lie right we, we've seen we've been shown that before so could this be a case where it's just trying to mislead people and it's not really an eternity devil but maybe something much more mundane um and especially the fact that you know a chainsaw it, it, it's afraid of chainsaws it's afraid of pain uh, what why I don't get it. Like, why would an eternity devil be afraid of pain? Because it lives in pain in eternity? Is it like something stupid like that? Like, I, I really don't get it, right? So, I don't know. I, I still have my suspicions right now as for what kind of devil it actually is. Oh, my, my, my sneaking suspicion here is that it's maybe something like a loop devil or something. And so, you know, what's the best way to, to get for a loop? You cut them, right? You cut the loop. And so I think that makes a little bit more sense than, than saying you cut through eternity. Uh, uh, you know, eternity being afraid of chainsaw. Like, what like what, what kind of concept is that? I mean, I could be entirely wrong. And, and again, maybe in the next episode, 
uh, we will see everything, and it turns out that, yeah, it is an eternity devil, and apparently abstract concepts are just normal things here in this world, and not really all that, um, not really all that special anyways, but, you know, even... I don't know. I, the, the, it just feels really, really weird to me. Like, especially the fixation on on infinity, the uh, the fixation on number eight, for example, and and whatnot. Uh, obviously, eight it looks like an infinity loop, right? But once again, like, why is it eternity and not infinity? So, so that's why, to me, uh, I'm my my main. Uh, how can I say this? My main suspicion right now is that it's actually a loop devil or something similar and or related to that kind of concept or that kind of a, a, a thing rather than something that's, you know, eternity uh, instead. But, uh, like, you know, I could be entirely wrong, in, in which case, okay, I mean, more the more devils that we see, the better I can get an understanding of the author's thought process and how exactly this world works. Because at, at, at up to this point, even though it's following a, a set of predefined rules that it has, I don't feel like it quite, um, you know, it, it quite adheres to like my own logic, for example. And I, I've been discussing with a lot of uh, you guys in the comments as well, you know, the concept of what exactly is frightening, what exactly is not, and how it differs. Like the perception differs from person to person. Like for me, honestly, a uh, blood, blood, even though it's something mundane, you know, everybody has it. But the the concept of it, like having too much blood, having blood diseases, uh, you know, having lack of blood, and being able to to control blood, being able to cut off the flow of blood to me that is in infinitely more uh more uh fear uh, more fearsome than than a concept like a bat or a dog right so that's why like to me actually powers uh abilities like something that can manipulate blood although i guess she is kind of she is kind of like limited in her uh, ability right she can't actually freely manipulate the blood in another uh, in another uh, person's body or whatnot because if she could like that would literally be op and um and I think any living thing would, you know, have to bow down to her greatness, the prime minister of, of, of Powerland, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so so that's um, those are my thoughts right now, and um, yeah, I think that's that's basically my biggest takeaway uh, at this point for this episode, right? You know, what exactly is this devil, and um, you know, what exactly the concept is what exactly it represents and all that, and is it actually telling the truth here, right? Because, like, eternity... Well, I guess it kind of works in, in the sense that because if it's eternity, then people don't really die, and instead they, they just stay in this loop for eternity. I don't know. I don't know. Like, don't spoil me, please. Don't spoil me. But we shall know in the next episode whether or not this was true or fa or, or not. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm highly, highly suspicious at this point in time. So, yeah. I think that's it. Um, the rest, you know, I'm not not too much to comment on there. I'm sure that some will probably be talking a lot about, you know, how the team doesn't trust Denji and they're so willing to throw him under the bus. But you know, let's be entirely honest here. That that that's kind of a given. It's not like he's built any report with any of the other members, and um, you know, from in in all regards, he is an expendable asset, right? More so than any of the other members there who are full-fledged members versus him who is kind of sort of a half fiend half devil half human no well that's not really half but you guys get what i mean so i'm not going to to harp too much on on that part i'm sure that the commodity and whatnot it will come naturally forward in the future and and all that but as for now you know i feel like this is quite the human response to the situation except for that girl though that that girl like i don't know what what her problem is she no, I you should feel sympathy for her. She's being thrown into a a life or death situation um, beyond her will. But I feel like even normal humans probably would not react like that. Like this this girl definitely has the uh, markings of becoming a yandere in the future. So. Well, uh, we we shall see, right? Now, who knows? Like maybe remove all that, and she's the sweetest, sweetest girl of them all. We'll we'll see about that. So, anyways, that is episode six of Chainsaw Man. Thank you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.